Hey, how's it going everyone? Sorry I haven't been posting recently. I've been busy with school, but luckily some of the work has slowed down and now I'm ready to teach you some tools in this little ink button. A couple of questions have popped up in the comments about shading and opacity, so I thought I'd do a video just on those two things. I'll go ahead and do shading first. So what you want to do is click that shading in the ink button and it'll ask you to select colors in your palette so what you want to do is get your colors ready from light to dark or dark to light and just drag and it'll appear up here basically all that the shading tool does is whatever color you draw on the one below it if you left click it it'll select the, the color below it so this right here is the color I'm using and when I left click it selected this color and if you right click it'll select the one in front of it this is just a neat little tool. I normally don't use it for shading, but if some of you want to use it, that is okay. The shading tool also works with things other than the pencil tool. So if you want to do the paint bucket tool, you can just go ahead and do it and we'll select the color below it if you left click. And if you right click, select the color in front of it. Next up is the alpha tool, which lets you change the opacity of the color you are currently working with. So right now it's at max capacity and it Oops, and if I select this color, let's do a, just a black, it won't do anything. But if I decrease that, it'll decrease the opacity and won't appear in full color. It will appear lighter. And like the shading tool, you can use the paint bucket or the line tool to use the alpha tool. Like so, I'm using the paint bucket and I'm just clicking and it's applying a black color at 23 opacity to what I already had. I mainly use the alpha tool if I want to get a water, a watery effect or if I'm selecting colors like if I want to make this skin a little darker like if I want to shade it I'll probably choose either a black or a red or an orange and just slowly click until I find the right color and that's all I got for today. Sorry if that was a little short. Uh, I just wanted to answer a couple of the viewers' questions and also get a video out there and sort of let you know that I'm still living. I'm still putting out videos. But yeah, um, stay tuned next week. Hopefully I'll have... Um, a, the plan is to do the color picking tutorial next week. Just a generic pixel art color picking tutorial. Anyways, I hope to see you all next week, and don't forget to leave comments. I do answer them, and I occasionally do videos on your comments, just like this one. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace!